in this video. The Bitcoin bullish divergence, which we mentioned in the prior videos, has played out exactly as predicted. But right now, guys, we are seeing this next warning, and the reason why I have closed this clo this long position was stations and no more. So I guess welcome back to another Gaps cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out our videos like this. So yeah, wala tayong videos for the past few days kasi I was actually on vacation. I was actually at Singapore for the Singapore Grand Prix and hindi ako masyad makagawa ng videos kasi we were very busy that time. But yeah, right now, I am now back in Manila so we can now actually make videos na again and we can give you an update regarding the crypto market. So right now, what is happening with the Bitcoin price action? So let's now dive into this video and let's give you first a quick recap of our previous analysis. So in our previous analysis, what we were monitoring was this declining price, a uh, declining price while RSI was increasing. So traditionally, whenever not we are seeing those movements, that is a traditional sign of a bullish trend of result. So right now, we are currently seeing that playing out. As you can see, we have seen a bullish trend of result. And if you're going to zoom out, you can actually see now we are also forming a lot of resistances dito. You can see now we have been forming that resistance to the Bitcoin price action. But as you can see right now, we are since even though we are seeing that bullish breakout right now, as you can see, a problem natin dyan ngayon is the volume. So if you're going to look at this, the volume is actually relatively less as compared sa ating sell volume. In the previous bullish divergence, mas malaki yung ating buy volume nga as compared sa sell volume so in this case typically mas maganda mag trade ng ganun kasi if mas pala siya by volume then we don't more like to play out yung ating bullish divergence but in cases like this na walang ganong by volume then this can actually more likely lead to a fake out anytime soon so as much as possible we have to be very careful dito in this case na close muna din ako na long position kasi if you're going to zoom in in the forward time frame there is also another indicator that we are currently seeing and that is this increasing price while the RSI is declining so in the shorter time frame meron tayong nakikita na bearish divergence so it's also possible na makita tayong malaking bullish divergence in the daily time frame while in the short term may bearish divergence in this case this bearish divergence is going to be a very quick divergence lang i don't think that this is going to take long days i think this is just going to take around few months a few hours long because as you can see this is just in the forward time frame as opposed to the daily time frame so in this case i think we might potentially see bitcoin go down muna for a bit up until the 26,500 but i don't think bitcoin is going to be in a continuous downturn for the time being especially na may malaki tayong bullish divergence so i think this is just going to be a short-term trade in this case this is a very risky trade i don't put big trades mga gantong movements like this so in this case, I'm just going to trade this for a bit up until the 26.5 lang and then after that, I'll close it and then wala na akong gagawin din with the trade. And siguro place stop loss lang around the 27,250, around that area, 27,300. So yeah, as mentioned, I won't be opening a big trade for this. This is just a very small trade because as you can see, yun nangyayari dito. And initially, ang target natin is the 28,800 and 31,000. But yeah, yun nga nangyayari kasi ngayon dahil walang buy volume, medyo delikado at alang nga rin yung trade na yun. That's why I closed also my long position. So in this case, we are, we are already in profits naman kasi we opened this trade around the 25,800 or around that area. And we were actually already in profits na nga dun, so it's okay now we close natin yung trade na natin dun kasi yeah, we were already in profits. So in this case, I am now currently trading this very small trade right now with the Bitcoin price action and I don't expect any massive move for the time being now with regards to this but the moment na bumalik na tayo dito within the 26,500 then that's when we are going to monitor the next move kasi ang more likely scenario natin dyan na pwede makita is if let's say if let's say bumalik siya dito sa 26,500 tapos pagkano siya ng bounce then that can continue the trade so in this case we have to monitor the RSI if we are going to get a bounce dito sa ating RSI kasi if nagkaroon siya ng bounce then pwede natin i-continue yung trade natin dyan so a lot of things to monitor right now. Number one is the 4-hour time frame divergence. Number two is the daily time frame bullish divergence. So, we have to monitor hand-in-hand -hand those two items ngayon dito kay Bitcoin Price Action. And yeah, on top of that, if you're going to look at this, meron din tayo actually nag-form na potential na rising channel or rising wedge. You can see this in the 4-hour time frame. So, in this case, if let's say this is going to break down, 
then this is where we're going to follow this best averages that we saw. So right now, a lot of things are playing out with uh, our latest analysis. So we have to monitor this in the next few days if this is going to play out, especially now we are seeing this bearish averages right now with the Bitcoin price action. And yeah, if di pa kayo na mag-open ng short position dito kasi ang difference sa short position is you are trading that the Bitcoin will go that the Bitcoin price will go down as opposed to back yet. If you want to learn how to open a short position, make sure to check out our Gaps Crypto 101 playlist para matutunan nyo on how to open a short position. Pero if let's hindi pa kayo marunong mag-trade, make sure to check out our Crypto 101 tutorials on different indicators muna kasi delikado mag-trade if hindi nyo pa alam pa na yung mga iba't ibang indicators. So make sure to check out our tutorial playlist muna before entering into a new trade dito sa crypto market. And take note guys, mas mura ating Bitcoin trading piece with Bybit. So if you want to start trading, make sure to trade this guys with Bybit kasi mas mura ating Bitcoin trading piece dito. But anyway, yun muna natin tatit for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.